So you're wondering where can you shower if you're living in the van or if you're just traveling along the road. In today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can do that. Some ways that are free and some ways that cost money. So let's get into the video. And if you enjoy van life and hiking content, make sure that you like and subscribe. Oh. Woo. Let's do it. <laughs> hey, I'm Steven Odako. I've been living in this Honda Element for three years. And one of the most common questions I get is how in the heck do you shower while living inside of a Honda Element? The first one you saw is just public showers right there by the beach. You get a beautiful view while you shower. And there's also restrooms uh, located close by if you need to use the restroom. The only thing that sucks is that when it's cold out, the water is usually not heated. And the other thing is if you're a little bit shy, there can be people around. Now, another option is you can buy a simple camping shower. And these are something that you can hang on the outside of the car, fill it up with water, and then the sun will actually heat the water inside. And then you can use that to shower. This is really good for camping or if you're in a pinch and there's no public showers in your area. They're really cheap and I'll leave a link down below in the description if you wanna get one for yourself. Now, another option that you can do and I've never really quite used it myself is simply just to use baby wipes. Uh, this is a really good idea if you're like exercising and you just wanna clear up your face or your back. Again, this is something I typically don't use but it is an option in a pinch, especially if there's no fresh water around, like if you're camping in the desert or something like that. Now you guys are sleeping on Rover. I've talked about Rover a lot, but Rover is basically an application where you can walk dogs and you can also house sit. Now the house sitting is what's gonna be most interesting to you van lifers is because you can watch people's houses, take care of their puppies, and in exchange, not only do you get paid, but you also get to use some of the facilities at, at the house. So if you wanna cook, if you wanna take a quick shower, if you want a nice comfy bed to sleep in, those are all things you can do by being a Rover sitter. Right now I'm actually sitting someone's house and I'll give you a quick view of their shower. It's super nice. I don't wanna show you the whole house, but you get the idea, check it out. So this is the uh, Rover house that I'm sitting. As you can tell, it's a super nice place. And boom, there's a shower that I can use. Even a double bathtub if I wanted to take a bath. And then here's a quick peek at the puppy that I'm watching. I'm telling you guys, don't sleep on Rover. It's such a great thing, especially if you're a van lifer. Check the link down in the description. So fresh and so clean, clean. Now, one of the most common ways van lifers shower while they're living in their van is they use gyms. Gyms like Planet Fitness, 24-Hour Fitness. A great thing about a gym is that they're located nationwide. So if you're traveling, you can pop into any Planet Fitness or 24-Hour Fitness and you can get a membership. You can use your showers, you can work out. And some of them even allow overnight parking. So that's a great place to park if you're traveling around. Now I looked at the prices of some of these gyms. Uh, Planet Fitness is going for about $22 a month. 24 Hour Fitness is going for about $44, $50 a month. Something interesting, if you're traveling with two people, uh, YMCA's offer a deal where you get about two people for about $50 a month. That's about the same price as a Planet Fitness membership. So maybe Planet Fitness is a better idea because they're more widely available but just so you have options in your area. Now, one of the things I do for work is that I'm a yoga teacher. So it's kind of like my cheat code is I go to work, I teach a class, and then I can use the facilities like the shower and the bathroom after or before my class. If you're someone who's into rock climbing, a lot of rock climbing gyms also offer facilities to shower and uh, use the restroom. So look into those. Typically those fitness memberships, like specialty fitness um, memberships tend to be a bit more pricey, but if it's something that you're into, it's maybe a good investment. A quick word from our sponsor, Coffee. Buy Me A Coffee app is a great way to help support your favorite YouTuber by buying me a coffee to help fuel the edits so I can create more content just like this for you all. Quick thank you to Luke. Thanks so much for supporting this channel and buying me a coffee. If you would like a shout out just like Luke, make sure to click the link that's in my bio, buy me a coffee so you can enjoy more videos just like this. All right, back to the show. So here's an option for those of you who plan on doing a lot of traveling while you're living inside of your van. 
Flying J's and Love's are truck stops and you can pop into one of these places and you can shower and I believe the price is around $12 per shower and some of these facilities even have washing machines so you can do your laundry, you can take a shower, they have food. They're, they're really, really convenient, especially if you're doing a lot of traveling across the country in the United States. Um, you can stop by these places. So where I'm located in California, there's a lot of state parks and campgrounds which will offer showers. And every year I actually buy a state parks pass because it gives you really awesome places to come and park, kind of like here by the beach. And um, you don't have to pay the $15 entry fee every time. In addition to that, a lot of those state parks have shower facilities which you can use. And a lot of those state parks have campgrounds. And if you wanna use those campgrounds and you have a state parks pass, usually you'll get a discount on the campground. A state parks pass is quite expensive. I believe it was $200 per year. If you're like me who lives in California and you're gonna spend a lot of time by the beaches or at the state parks, not only do you get a beautiful place to stay and enjoy the scenery, but oftentimes they'll have shower facilities for you. And last but not least, we'll talk about hotels and motels. This may seem obvious, but you know, after traveling for so many days inside of your van being dirty, it might be nice every now and then to just stop into like a simple motel or hotel or even an Airbnb. You can enjoy a day, you can cook yourself a hot meal and enjoy a shower before you head back on the road. When I plan extended trips in the Honda Element, I typically do like to have one or two days where I stay in a hotel where I can just simply relax, get cleaned up, and enjoy a little bit of luxury. All right guys, well, I think that about covers it for all the places that I use to shower while I'm living inside of my Honda Element. If there's any places you like to use that I missed, make sure to leave them down below in the comments. If you enjoyed, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and we'll see you guys in the next one.